Now, there is never a dull day when it comes to music, so let's do just that. Get into the world of music. And to do this, first things first, let me introduce you to something really, 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 really special. So Ice Prince has released a brand new single. It is called Get At You. Now in this month of love, in this month where everyone out there just wants to be told the most beautiful, lovely things, Ice Prince is helping you do just that. Take a look at the official video before we have Ice Prince join us on the show and speak extensively on this track. Mess up the whole damn atmosphere, man. I'm trying to be cool like my heart's not bleeding. I'm even acting at him and even. Reading all the stuff that you're reading. I'm shivering, holy garden of Eden. I'm feeling like Moses with a stick. Your legs like the ocean, how they open up quick. It's been a little rough, thorns and bricks. We fell for the Harrys and the Toms and Dicks. Baby, let me remind you of this. My life like a movie, you were my Netflix. The rainbow's up, stars gon' glitch. Things I was taught back in primary six. Get at you. Well, joining me on Arise 360 right now is the man of the many, the man of a few words. Ice Prince, you know, I'm trying to look for a way what to call you right now. You know, tell me about this single. Tell me about this. You have a lot to say. You know, you're very, the words are just flowing. <laughs> They're just, Ice Prince, tell me the truth. Who, who, you, who are you talking to in that single? Who are you talking to? Kachi, I was, I, was, I was in love when I wrote this particular song, man. I was in love. You know I'm a lover boy, generally. Um, <laughs> I fall in love easy. And this was one of those moments when I was really, really in love. And I wrote Get At You at that moment. What's up, though? How are you, Kachi? I'm great. I'm awesome. Who are you in love with, Ice? Who? <laughs> Who are you in love with? Oh, um, it was you. It was you, baby. Ice, don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. Okay, you and I both know it's not me you're in love with. Tell me about no, this person. No, 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 but I mean, no, um, it's somebody that I was in a relationship with recently and the relationship didn't go as planned. And you know, you know how, you know how heartbreaks are, inspired me to write that song. And yeah, there you have it, get at you. Okay, well, Ice, we're just, we're, I mean, the month of February for me is a month of love. I would always say it's one of my favorite months ever. You know, I've had the, I wouldn't say I've yes. been the luckiest person when it comes to romance and with love and with relationships. I think I've even got to the point where I'm just like, you know, I'm done with this. But I can tell from this single that you, you are, still... You know they pick my call, no, no, why? <laughs> you, you know they pick call. How could you call me out like this on live TV? <laughs> How could you call me out like this on live TV? No, but I, I know I don't pick up my calls because I, I'm not, I don't believe in all these things. I'm not really interested, you know? So talk to me about love. I feel like you're still very much in tune with your hopeless romantic side, even if I'm not. Yeah. I mean, love is a beautiful thing. February is a month of love. Um, we are in a season of love. Even the election is a season of love, if you ask me. You know, and Get At You is the song that comes from a place of love, you know? Um, I miss that person, and I just decided to write a song about the situation. You know, that was what happened. All right, so if you were going to say... Can we, can we move on from love? It's like you want to focus on love today. <laughs> Ice, but you know I want to. Okay, since you want us to move on, Ice, since you insist, <laughs> let's move on. Let's talk about what's been happening with you. I know you've done a couple of other singles before this, and before, between the last time we had you on a Rise 360 yeah. and now, you've worked with the likes of Oxlade, you've worked with Shady Vibes. You know, you're, yeah. you're really getting back out yeah. into the space. So are we expecting like a whole body of work soon, or is it just going to be single, single, singles? And you know we yes. spoke about this the last time. Yes, yes. Okay, so this time around is actually not a single. I put out a whole project. Um, it's called the, it's called To Be Continued EP, and it is out right now. If you're on social media, go on my social media right now. The link is everywhere. It's amazing. It is so far the best piece of music that I have put out, and it contains six songs. And yeah, this is it's called To Be Continued because it's a lead up to my album, my studio album that I'm excited to share with with everybody out there that's still, you know, looking forward to some Ice Prince music.
Of course, and I'm sure there's so many people out there who are definitely still looking forward to that. But I also feel there's also some people who have questions yeah. like, okay, so Ice, there was a moment that you had a bit of a controversy that everyone was kind of wondering, oh, is Ice okay? And this is such a pivotal point in our nation. Oh, man. I don't want you to go into too much detail, detail, but I do want you to address that in a way that just kind of allows people understand yes. where you stand. Like, what is ICE about? Is ICE a rebel? Is ICE just trying to bring us all together? You know, <laughs> where does this man no, stand? I promise. I promise I'm not. I'm not troublesome. I'm not, I'm not hot-headed. I am as cool as ICE. That was a very unfortunate situation that happened between me and the policeman. It was a misunderstanding that led to an ugly situation that saw me behind you know, that made me serve time, basically. And I first of all want to take this opportunity to apologize to everybody that was disappointed in me in that situation. You know, the story was not written as it is, as it actually happened. I hope I'm going to get some time to tell my side of the story one day, and I hope to tell my side of the story, but it wasn't like it was written on the blogs and stuff like that. But regardless, you know, I'm not holding any malice or any grudge. I wrote a song on this new project called Bless, where I said everything happens for a reason. And what happened to me, I guess, was just something that was meant to happen. I will get my chance to explain the story, but it wasn't the way it was written on some of the blogs. And I truly apologize to everybody that was disappointed in me about that situation. I promise that's not who I am. That's not your boy. No. I'm forever as cool as ice. You forever know. as cool as ice. Well, ice, we don't have so much time, but I really just wanted to have you on the show, you know, because I'm really yeah. excited about this new body of work. I'm excited that ice is back. Yeah, I appreciate you it. You know, releasing great music. So everyone, yeah. <laughs> everyone, Aye. go listen to that body of work. Ice, don't worry. I'm going to have you back on the show, and we will talk about love. Because I like to talk about love. I truly appreciate it. Can I, get a, can I just get a chance to just say God bless Nigeria. I wish yes. us good luck on tomorrow's election. Please, let's vote peacefully. Love and lights.